In this video, we're going to look at depreciation. And there are two different ways of calculating depreciation. First of all, there's depreciation that occurs on a straight line or at a flat rate. And that can be compared to your simple interest formula, but with a minus in the middle. So it's A is equal to P, 1 minus I times N. And then the more common um, method of depreciation is depreciation on a reducing balance. And that is where your N is in the exponent. So it's A is equal to P bracket 1 minus I to the power of N. And in all depreciation questions, they generally ask you for the book value. Now the definition of the book value is just the reduced value of the item. In other words, it's the A value that you're calculating. You're not calculating the amount of depreciation. You're trying to calculate what is the piece of machinery worth at the end of depreciation, after depreciation has taken place. And let's just do a few examples of each. In the first example, we're going to calculate the book value of a machine that cost 45,000 Rand. At the end of four years, if depreciation is calculated at 16% per annum at a flat rate. So at a flat rate is straight line. So it's your, if we can say, simple interest version of the formula. The uh, machine currently costs 45,000 Rand. Your depreciation is always an annual depreciation, so 0 0.16, and it is times 4. So you won't actually find a depreciation um, question with compoundings, necessarily. You type that into your calculator, and at the end of four years, the machine will be worth 16,200 Rand. Now let's take that same question and calculate the book value of the machine if the interest is calculated on a reducing balance. Okay, so that is compared to compound interest. So it just means it'll earn, it'll depreciate quite a lot initially, and then your depreciation just gets smaller and smaller and smaller. All right. So again, forty-five thousand rand is what it's worth at the moment. One minus zero point one six, and the exponent is four. So type it in exactly as you see it, and you'll see it's worth slightly more if it's calculated on a reducing balance at the end of four years. So it's worth 22,404 Rand and 21 cents. Let's just try one more of each. In this question, a taxi owner buys a new taxi, which costs him 280,000 Rand. And we want to know the value at the end of four years if depreciation is calculated at 18% per annum based on a flat rate. Or I could have asked a straight line. All right, so just substitute the correct amounts into the formula. Type it into your calculator and you should end up with 78,400 Rand. And then this one, a company buys a truck for 450,000 Rand. The truck depreciates at a rate of 20% per annum based on a reducing balance. Calculate to the nearest Rand the book value of the truck at the end of five years. All right, so we've got A is equal to P bracket 1 minus I to the power of N. So it's 450,000 Rand, and it's depreciating at 20%, so 0, 0,20 for five years. And at the end of five years, it's still going to be worth 147,456 Rand to the nearest Rand. Depreciation questions are quite easy, but they usually come in combination with other questions. Thanks for watching Max Maths. If you liked what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe.